And with the French Open fast approaching, we begin with tennis and Anne Jabeur's pursuit of a maiden Grand Slam singles title. It was a tournament that inspired me a lot, and I had the chance to play at Roland Garros in the juniors. It's a tournament I'd like to win as a professional, and I hope to realize that dream one day. A junior champion on the clay courts in Paris in 2011, Ange Jabeur took longer than many expected to make a significant impression on the main tour. But when she did, by winning her first title in the summer of 2021, the Tunisian laid the foundations for what was to become a career-changing 12 months. It didn't start well in Australia, but everything clicked in Madrid. It was the kind of season I'd been waiting for for a long time. I came close to the long-held dream of winning a Grand Slam. I think my life changed beyond the tennis court in Tunisia. In fact, everywhere I go, people now pay more attention to me, and that gives me great pleasure. I feel that this pressure, this attention around me, is a beautiful responsibility for me. I'm someone who enjoys responsibility, so I see it as a positive thing to be able to possibly inspire other young people. There are many young girls starting to believe they can make it, they can play tennis and realize their dream. I try to be an example that, not just in tennis, but in any walk of life, the girls can succeed, they just have to believe. This year I've had to cope with some injuries, so it's not been an easy start for me. I'm patient, or at least I try to be, to hang in there and try to have an even better season than last year. To do that, Ons might have to win a Grand Slam. And after a disappointing Australian Open, her next opportunity comes on the clay at Roland Garros. It's a surface I like a lot. It gives me time to play my shots, to play my game. I love the slice, the drop shot. I know the ball stays lower when I play a slice, and I'm adapting to it all the time. There are lots of players, like Iga, like Arena, like Rubikina, who are playing very well on this surface with different games. But I'll do my best. I will prepare for Roland Garros this year, hoping that I will do better than in previous years. Obviously, the pressure is there, but I'll use that pressure to make sure I'm ready to realize my dream, to realize the dream of an entire people, an entire continent, in fact.